As we alluded to, you unfortunately lost your seat uh, at Manor a few weeks ago. Your last race was the German Grand Prix, I believe. What have you been up to since um, that German Grand Prix? Yeah, since that, um, I've got an offer to be, you know, to stay at Manor, mm -hmm. to be as a reset driver role. Mm -hmm. And um, it means that, you know, I have to, to always come to the races, to the remaining races in Formula One calendar. And, um, you know, I've been involved with the team. Uh, joining all the technical meetings, you know, mm. as a research driver, you have to be physically, uh, mentally, and technically ready. You know, um, if there's a chance for me to to hop in, um, then you know, have to to be fully ready mm. for it. Now we have crunched the maths and looked at the stats as well. As far as your career to date at Manor, you out qualified Pascal Verlein five times this season, so. The stats don't lie, right? I mean, that's a great record, and you got a lot out of the car. How hard is it to see someone else in your seat at the moment? Well, it's for sure it's frustrating, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I have to take it positive. I mean, these things happen, um, so you know, I've, I'm still um, glad that you know I'm still involved with the team, um, mm. and you know, there's still a lot to learn. Even when I'm not driving in the car, I could still learn from my teammates, from Pascal, and also. Um, the new driver from mm. from Manor, which is Esteban. Um, they both are really good drivers. Um, they both are um, Mercedes junior drivers. So, you know, there's still things to learn, and you know, hopefully, I really hope that I can be yeah. back soon next year. You know. I mean, Pascal said uh, in a report that, that you were underrated. Do you agree with that? That you were underrated as a driver, even though you outqualified him, you know, five times. <laughs> well, yeah, I think so. Um, Maybe it's because I'm Asian. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I think you know I've I've shown um, a good job in my uh, first year in Formula One. Um, I've been competitive, you know, against my teammate, who is, mm. I guess, he would be the star of Mercedes in the future. Sure. He's so a reserve driver for Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, I think I've shown my my performance, and and you know I really want to to get back again next year, and hopefully. Um, you know, decision can be made soon. Yeah. So tell us what is happening about that reported return to F1 in 2017. Just tell us what exactly is going on and how you might be back in the sport next year. Well, for the moment, we've been um, working very hard to to find um, sponsors financially, and um, yeah, we've been looking at uh, possibilities for the teams in Formula One. And I think things are looking very positive. Looking good? Yeah, things are looking good. Great. As you know, that, um, I think in the next couple of weeks, there will be a lot of announcements for the drivers' teams. Um, so, um, yeah, hopefully you guys could hear from me soon as well. Yeah, well, we'll get you back in the studio. Rio, we're yeah. going to have to leave you there, but many thanks for coming in. And yeah, fingers, <laughs> legs, everything crossed for 2017. Thank thanks you. Rio. Thanks. thanks.